Welcome back to another day on the vlog. As you can tell, we have the Prusa MK3S Plus, the printer with the Revo high flow hot end in the enclosure. We actually did find the mounting points, well, the mounting brackets for the power supply for both sides, so we can get that mounted up properly. So we're gonna give this a whirl here shortly to see if we can actually get the bed up to 110, if we can, we'll have two printers on top of the X1 Carbon down here that is printing Grinch stuff. So hopefully we'll be good there. Over on the Elegoo Neptune 4 Max, we did have it dialed in pretty good yesterday. So we will start printing more on that out of uh, PLA. One of the big things we have right now, since we have Clipper on the Prusa MK3S Plus. We have a Raspberry Pi 4 board here, as you can tell, but no case. Can't really have it on there and powered on because it'll short out. So over here on the P1S, we are printing with ABS filament and we're just printing off the bottom portion of a Pi 4 case. All right, here we have the bottom section of a Pi 4 case. We actually cut off the standoffs because of the heat sink that goes in it. For what we're using it for, it'll be just fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some command strips. We're gonna put one on each side and then put it back there where the, glue, uh, the uh, tape's at and connect all the cables up and see what happens. Okay, we now have the command strips on, we're just gonna Place it back here. Make sure it connects real good. And then start plugging in cables. Okay, looks like we have the Pi on. Let's check the printer. Looks like the printer is reporting good. Now we just need to replace the camera mount that we printed. This one I assume I printed out in PLA way back. So we printed off one in a uh, Supposed to be ABS, but as you can tell, that is not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to change the orientation real fast in the slicer and send it back to the printer. Just checking in on the X1 Carbon with the Grinch print we currently have. As you can tell, it says it's got nine minutes left. Let's check. Something to do with the X1 Plus firmware is causing it to get weird readings and we just missed it on the camera, but it said it had two hours and something left, not eight minutes. So I'm not sure where it's getting these numbers from. Okay, back here over on the slicer. This is Orca slicer, because I changed the orientation. We'll also go over here and enable supports. Let it do auto supports. Okay, so this should take 30 some, almost 40 minutes. So we will go ahead and send it to Bob the Builder. Here's the new camera arm being printed on the P1S. So far so good there. And we are doing a initial bed temp on the MK3S Plus. So far it looks like we might actually get up to temp. So if that's the case, we'll have two printers able to print the Grinch parts which will make this go a lot faster. Okay, looks like the benchy has completed. Adhesion was pretty good. And now we will need to work on tuning the printer a little, but it will take 110 degrees on the bed, which means we can start using ASA more on this printer. Let's see. Just clean the bed off real fast. Okay. Do a quick little glance down at the X1 Carbon. So we are getting there on the current part. Let's see. We have nine minutes left. Well, another part down. We have just hit the halfway point on the Grinch, so 
hopefully by the end of the week, we will have all the parts printed. Okay. The Grinch part just finished. We will set this over here. Just like this. Try to pop it off real fast. There we go. Now, mind you, this build plate's chilling at 110 degrees Celsius because I am impatient and I'm not letting it cool down properly. Okay, cleaning off the plate real fast. So we can get everything. We get this plate back on and get the next part of the Grinch going. Okay. And set that to 110. There we go. Here we have a quick update on the Grinch. So far, so good. Don't forget, if you like our content, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.